Hey guys, Love Hip Hop Atlanta season 7 just released. Still to come trailer, so I'm gonna check it out. This season, um, this season's alright. It's not like the other past seasons. Um, it's a little bit different because Jocelyn is not longer, no longer on the show. Um, you know how I feel about that. I want Jocelyn to return. Um, it's alright. It's just, you know, I'm over the same old cast. I don't understand why Carly Red is on the show. She's just, she's just, I don't get why she's on the show. Same with Mimi. I don't understand why Mimi is on the show. She just, just Carly Red and Mimi are just irrelevant at this point. And I don't like the friends of the show. Like, I don't like the heavyset girl. Um, I don't like the hairdresser, Cena. I, I, I mean, it's an interesting storyline with her and her baby father. Does he have another kid and stuff like that? But at the same time, it, it, I'm not really feeling them. I'm not liking Stevie J's artists, um, the one with the pink hair. Um, it's all right. I mean, this season's all right. It's not really all that. I do like Erica Mena. I didn't know who she was. I told you guys, I never watched Love and Hip Hop New York, um, any of the seasons before Cardi B. So I never really knew Cardi, um, I mean, Erica Mena. I didn't know her, but I see why she's a reality star because she's a hothead. Like, she is, she's really funny. I like Erica Mena. She's, she's all right. Um, Tommy, you know, Tommy changed. I thought that Tommy had sense in a way. Um, but now I see why your family don't talk to you because you are the problem. Tommy, you know, the sister, you finding your sister and stuff like that, Tommy. You know, the sister said that she never called 911. You went to her job and the job called 911 on you and that's why you're, you went to jail. It's not the sister's fault. You should have never went to her job. Tommy seems really, really immature to me. I'm really disappointed in you, Tommy. I thought that you had more sense. All right, so let's check out the new trailer for the rest of the season. Do you have a sense of what we're here to discuss? No. Oh, it seems like when these incidents have happened, you've been drinking, and that's really the concern. Working with Tommy has been chaos. You're late for three hours, and you're f***ing drinks. I'm not too up in you. <laughs> Immature. I need you to take this music more serious. I gotta go to jail tonight. None of y'all hoes is on a question like me. So the f*** you talking about? To grow up. I think so you're disappointed. Well, and I get it's not easy to hear. You don't know anything, man. When was the last time Kirk seen the baby? He still hasn't made himself present in Cannon's life. That is what Kirk baby, and I think you need to be vocal about it. How are they friends? Uh uh, messy. No. I'm not a malicious person. I guess you are. You a f***ed up individual. She sure is. Hearing a lot of things. Esther Lita is still messing around with Stevie J. Stevie and I have been hanging out, but at the end of the day, business comes first for me. Stop crying wolf to everybody. Okay, so I'm not gonna tell you no more. You're looking stupid out here. <laughs> I like Esther Lita, by the way. Erica Mena? Yeah. She can sing? I thought you were showing the sonnets. Every time I turn around, it's like this and like that. I'm a womanizer. You are. You don't even know me. If you want to be a bitch, I'll treat you like one. Keep my name out your mouth. It's my town. And I run it now. <laughs> hey, Mama D. Surprise. She's not extra. To another <laughs> But what? My baby. I'm going to have another one. I'm going to have my baby. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm trying to keep it in the low. I'll keep you a secret. Thank you. Well, I'll you yeah. Mama D, what exactly are you doing? What's going on? I just knocked you up. Ain't no more chocolate in this factory. <laughs> <laughs> He's been doing a lot of dirt and a lot of lies. I dealt with Brasco. I've known him for about 10 years. We have sex every time we see each other. I don't believe this. Oh, I got receipts. Wasn't she on the you show before? You take the conversation. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> She was on the show before, right? We going on a double date. I told Spice to come. And her double date is Tobias. Spice, paprika, I don't give a who it is. Spit it out. Are you together with him? Yes or no? Let's get it over with. I'm feeling over. Spice in the... Oh! <laughs> Xavier, having a consistent father figure in his life has always been my number one concern for him. How long have I been sending you pictures of your son? And I get one or two word answers. Oh, it's fine. I just want to see my child. Who is she? Who are they? That I know that there's been a lot going on in everybody's life. That's why I want to go to a dude ranch. A what? A dude ranch? Oh, shit. Who's some 
booty shorts and cowboy boots and a hat. And let's go. The husband ride not my thing, girl. I'm not finna be with that animal cool till he be feel like you done put another horse on him. <laughs> Where is Shorty going? Whoa. of wanting to try to bring everybody together to be like, you know what, let that bull go. Get some memories together and keep it pushing. I want y'all to enjoy. I don't have no problem with her, but the bull want to keep the me. <laughs> Hip Hop Atlanta, all new Mondays at 8, 7 Central on VH1. Okay, all right, um, okay, it's, it's all right, seems all right, a eh, little, a uh, little off. I like Rashida, I like the fact that she actually is planning on, uh, I like the fact that Rashida planned a trip, um, with all the cast members, and it seemed like they all were getting along. That's actually a really good thing, because this is the first time, I think, in Love and Hip Hop franchise, that the whole entire cast goes away on the trip, and they all seem like they were getting along having fun. So I am excited about that, because I'm all about black people getting along and having fun. Um, so I am excited about that, but the trailer seems really dull. Um, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Tokyo Diva, I think that's her name, the heavyset one, and the other girl fighting over a dude. Uh, what? Uh, Cena, the light-skinned girl with the bangs, she was on the show before then, before this, right? This girl right here, I think she was on the show before she was dating someone else's boyfriend on the cat. Uh, I don't know, guys. I'm not really... I'll watch it, but I won't watch it. Like, I'll have it on, but I won't be paying attention, if that makes sense. I don't know. They need, like, they need to get rid of some cast members. Carly, Red, and Mimi being the top two. Um, and get rid of the extras. I don't really, I don't really think we need the extras. I do like Erica's friend, the, oh, I forgot her name. Darn it. The Spanish one, the one that she hangs out with, the one that, that they say is dating Stevie J. Um, I do like her. Uh, Esalita, I think her name is. I do like her. Tommy is still immature, like I said at the beginning of the video. It's clear that she has, she does have a drinking problem. She needs to really, really, she needs to get sober. Um, what is Scrappy's baby mother doing with Kirk's baby mother? Like, how are they, like, I, oh God, this is how Love and Hip Hop is so messy. Because I know they're going to say, we've been best friends with since childbirth. Like, really, like, this show is so messy. It, it, it's, it's really messy. Like, it, it's, it's crazy. This show is me Mona, Mona, you messy. You a messy hoe. You a, you a messy hoe. Where's Jocelyn? You still need to bring back Jocelyn. I thought that when the doorbell rang, I honestly thought that it was going to be Jocelyn at the door. Bring Jocelyn back, Mona. What you doing? We need her back. We need this. We need her back. The show is not the same. It's obvious. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Please subscribe to my page if you haven't already. And while you're at it, look at my page and check out my other videos. Comment and leave your opinions on whether you agree or disagree with me. I look forward to talking to you all again. Bye, guys.